Okay, Walter, a few words about this year's Nolanders trophy, your impressions. Thank you. Okay, Nolanders number 12 in the year uh, 2011. Uh, it's not quite finished, it's Sunday noon now, uh, but I can already say what my impressions are. So, my impression is that this has now still gotten better than last year. Uh, and uh, there is still a, a climbing curve and I hope it will get even get better but by now we have what we call the Ginkgo Award level meaning the Ginkgo Awards about five years ago used to be about that level now that's a very good achievement interesting that it happens again in Belgium for some reason Belgium seems to be the center for that I don't know why that is but it is and I'm very grateful that the Belgians have been put up all that work that's what sure it is. They have changed the location from last year. I think it's an improvement. It's more generous. Uh, you can place more trees uh, with very good light uh, you, and, uh, and you have enough space to really look at them. Even a, a big, big crowd can be here and doesn't really bother one. Uh, yes, the crowd was by far the biggest crowd ever. I don't know exactly, but, but that must be a few thousand people that were here. All bonds are insiders because while this is open for the general public, uh, it's not so easy to find. The general public will probably not normally not come. Anyway, bonsai is from from everywhere came, so it's amazing from all over Europe. Uh, one from Israel, uh, and uh, and uh, it's really amazing how how many. Uh, the nations are around, uh, you hear all the so languages. Uh, the quality of the trees is, is, is very good, as I said, and in, in, for all, they, the varieties is great. I mean, you see all sorts of species in all sorts of, of different ways to style trees. Uh, that is very interesting. Uh, Ryan Neal from America, who spent six years in Japan, and certainly knows what's going on in Japan, he said the same thing, that the variety is, is enormous in the different ways people approach bonsai. And it's great that, it's, that it is that way. Uh, there were some winners, uh, the, 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 the board, uh, Nirlanders Award, the Nirlanders Trophy, that's what it's called. Uh, and uh, one was won by, by the, the Spanish guy. And that certainly deserved it. All old, old trees, of course, deserved it. Well, you know, all this judging is always something that people will discuss afterwards, and they, everybody has other ideas. Well, I think it, it, it went very well and, and fair. Uh, of course, uh, rather mainstream trees won the awards, which is normal. I mean, mainstream is the major taste that's on, and that is a modern bonsai. Very impressive. Uh, conifers usually with a lot of dead wood, uh, very nicely done. Well, so if you want to win an award, that's the kind of treat you have to bring in. But it's not really about awards, although it's called awards. I think the awards is a side thing. It's the main thing is to be accepted, first of all, uh, to, to, to bring a tree. That's quite an achievement, I must say. It's not so easy anymore. And the next thing is uh, that you want to show it as best as you can. And, and if that's slightly different from mainstream, that's fine. Uh, so they will accept it here. Okay, demonstrations from world-class uh, people, uh, and like uh, Ryan Neal from America, uh, Serge Clemence from Switzerland, and uh, what's the other one? Michele Adolfo. Michele Adolfo, yeah. Michele Adolfo from, from Italy. Uh, and of course, very, very good demonstrations. Uh, uh, they provide very good material here. Uh, Mark Nolanders, he personally makes sure that, that they get the very best trees to work on. And that's a big difference to other shows. Okay, that's about it. I'm sure it will, it will happen again and again. And you, know, you definitely must come next time. Uh, this year, uh, this was the first year that Croatia had an entrance tree. Uh, uh, on the exhibit, what do you think about the tree? Well, uh, you know, if you ask me that question, you must understand that I am not neutral, because I had my hand in there. First of all, 
It's it's my students from the Walter Paul International Bonsai Academy. And the other thing is that I'm very, very proud that they made this. You must understand that only three and a half years ago, these people had very little clue. And they played with little trees and little pots, okay? And I, I taught them uh, how to find good trees in nature. They have enormous, rich nature in, 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 in Croatia, at the sea and in the mountains. And, and they learned very quickly to find the material and they found a pistachia, oh, which is a very rare species for used for bonsai, and they found, I think, a world-class piece of material. And within three years, they brought it to a stage where it's now accepted for learners and makes a pretty good figure here. So it certainly didn't win an award and will not in the future, but it, it is not the worst tree, I will tell you, okay? And of course, Croatia can be very proud of that, and my students, and so you asked the wrong man the question. Yeah. And do you know that uh, Austrians do not rule the world of alpine skiing anymore? Well, the problem is really <laughs> that the Austrians, uh, for the Austrians, the most important thing in the world is skiing. There's nothing else but skiing. Uh, and they have, they think they have invented it, which is not true, the Norwegians have, okay? And they think that they have a, a genetic advantage, which is not true, okay? So, a Croatian wins just about everything and would probably will win the overall award of the year uh, and well deserved. You know, what, what we Austrians now say, yeah, well, this is Croatia, that used to be part of the big, big Austro-Hungarian Empire. So, and, and he's keying on Austrian skis. Yeah. Thank you, Walter. Thanks. <laughs>